My name is Selanante. I'm an actress, creative artist, uh, voiceover artist, I'm a TV host, commercial model, and so many other things in the industry, of course. Sexual harassment, uh, to me, I think is characterized by making of like unwelcome and inappropriate like sexual remarks and maybe or maybe physical advances in places of work and any other social situation. It starts as a, a simple thing like a, maybe a friend at work, a, a workmate or a boss, you know, it starts with a tap on your shoulder maybe or maybe a they hold your waist as a as a hello sign but then it keeps on advancing you know as time goes on it he comes to your inbox and uh, he starts of course those moves asking you about your day what you're wearing um, maybe asking you out for lunch or dinner and then for you, like how you're perceiving it, you're like, ah, he's so sweet. And maybe you're not actually internalizing it, but it's actually happening. You understand? So before you know it, oh my God, you're getting into the bedroom. You understand? So I believe that there is no strong person like, the, you cannot be too strong like oh my god you should say no you should say no because these things start as like simple and easy greeting and friendly touches and maybe a peck on the cheek at first you're like oh my god what, what just happened but it's like oh come on you, you think i you think i mean any harm you know but then here you are in the place of work this guy is taking it serious and before you know it, everything is in a mess. So, one time I was in one of the working places. Um, I was working somewhere and uh, one of the people actually started behaving in a weird way, you know. At first, like, it was like a friendly sort of thing because I used to see him do it to other girls and they were okay with it, you know. But then I wasn't okay with it. Other people would be like, oh my God, Stella, come on, you know, get a life. That guy is just joking. He does it to all of us. <laughs> what do you mean he does it to all of us? If I'm not okay with it, then I'm not okay with it. You understand? So before you know it, the gentleman was like, okay, um, you're showering, maybe you're, you're filming in a camp and, and you're taking a shower and this person comes and just pulls away your towel, you know? And after showering, you're like, you're looking for your towel, you can't see it and it's like, ha ha, I have it. What, what kind of joke is that? And you're like, okay, bring back the towel. I need to get out of the shower. And then this guy is like, oh, sorry, he brings it back. And the next day, he tries something else. The following day, maybe you're out of the shower and, and it just taps your butt. Okay, that was it. <laughs> that was the moment, you know, I was like, no. I can't take this, I can't. I said, you, you know what, you need to stop. I don't like this. I don't feel comfortable when you do that. And he continued doing it, you know. What I remained with was, you know what, I'm going to go to the high authorities. Because if I talk to maybe my fellow actor, she, he or she will not understand. If you don't stop, I'm going to the high authorities. He's like, oh, come on, Stella. I am the authority here. I am the lead. I am the head. I'm like, okay. You know what, it's, it's high time I put you in your place. Because I was patient with that person, but then time came and from patting my butt to, you know, all the, like, all the crazy behavior what, that was going on, he came to my inbox and guess what he was doing? He was sending me nudes, you know? And these are scary things. And he's like, you know what, I'm going to add you like a role. 
I'm going to I'm going to make you the star in this project if you only accept to do it. Okay, I I couldn't do it. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't. I had to go to the high authorities. That was too much. It went on and on, but I was still thinking, debating in my head, should I, should I report? Should, should I say, should I just keep quiet and then let this person take advantage of me? But then, but then deep inside, I knew that this is not the person I am, you know? This is not me. If I go on another set and then this person says the same thing, what will I do? I need to, to just lay it all straight that I'm not this person so that people get used to that. Let me set the trend so they, they know who I am. The ne next person who tries it, they'll fall into the fire. So I went to the high authorities and told them what was happening. And sadly, this, <clears throat> when I talked to, um, one of the gentlemen like was uh, above us. I talked to him, I told him. Um, someone is trying to take advantage of me. I don't like it. Please talk to him and, and stuff. So he was like, but still, it's your mistake. It's, it's your mistake. You smile at everyone. <laughs> I don't smile at everyone. It, it was simply a working environment where we had to get along with everyone. And besides, other girls were smiling at him too. And he was doing all those things and they were okay with that. But I was not okay with it. And I was like, no Stella, it's, it's your fault. You, you're such a darling and you smile at everyone. And then, you know, maybe he got carried away. What? So I'm like, okay, help me out. What should I do? Maybe talk to him. <laughs> He's like, no, I, I can't talk to him. He's my friend. You, you are the one supposed to sort yourself out. Stop smiling at everyone. Just stop, you know, playing around and, 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 you know, being all over the place. But I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. So, unfortunately, I had to just go to the highest authority now like to the head department and i'm like i am not okay with this such person he's trying to do abcd i've talked to so and so to talk to him but they have said it is my fault yeah i know it created a lot of tension at the workplace and guys are like hmm that girl, don't be her friend. She's weird. That girl, don't, don't even talk to her. She will cause you problems. But it's about standing for what you believe in. It's about knowing who you are. That I'm, I'm in this workplace, yes. And it's not like I'm going to be here for the next 10 years. No. I'm going to be here for a given period of time and I move to another you know, place or destination or whatever. So I'm going to maintain my dignity and respect. And if I respect you, please respect me back. If I respect myself enough, build my brand to where it is right now. It, it has not been easy. I've gone through challenges and, and hardships and hurdles. So do not come and tell me, you know what, you're weird, you're not updated, you're not, you're not like a slay queen. Who cares? I want to be me and I say no to sexual harassment. <laughs>